Hey, how you doing today, fans? Goddamn government screwing us up. So I've been sitting here thinking about everything, and I felt like doing a dab. So I figured, how can I gear up a dab bong by using just a regular popper bong? Just a regular bong. Just a regular popper bong, see? Just, just a regular bong. So you take your popper stem, put it in your bong. Leave it in your bong. You don't ever take it out. You take your bong. You set it like that on the table. You take a bolt. Take that bolt. Yeah, I've tried it a couple times. It works great, too, fans. It actually works. So you take that bolt. You take bare pliers. Which you're going to really need. You don't need a pair of pliers. Take a bolt. Put it in a pair of pliers, like so. Turn the blowtorch on. So you got your blowtorch. Turn that flame down a bit more. You need a flame boat to there. Then you heat the bolt up. Going to bring it back over here. You heat it up until it's about that color. Like a yellow. Gives time to turn off your blowtorch. Find my dab stick here. Then you take this. Put it on your dab. Put it on your bone. Hold your bone like that. Take your dab stick. And watch this, fans. Yeah, that one didn't work out that well. So I'll get you guys another one that will. Didn't have the dab ready. That's what was wrong. Thought I still had a dab on it. Didn't have a dab on it. Just because I know your fans are watching. I'll take a great big dab. So we light the blower torch again. Heat up the bolt. Make sure your bolt's not sitting on anything wood because it will burn. If your bolt's sitting on anything wood, it will burn. Come on, any day now, we can have this bolt ready. 
This bolt gonna get really hot so I can do this dabby. Haha. <laughs> Sleep ants, it does work. It's <coughs> 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 really fucking well. <coughs> and there's nothing left on the stack. <coughs> 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 hey, grab the bolt. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you make a homemade dab bomb out of your popper bomb. Watch this. <coughs> this don't even get hot. This don't even get hot at all. It's the bolt that gets hot. <coughs> it's very fucking cool, actually. Very fucking cool. I just found that out today that I could do that to a popper bomb. So any of you fans of popper bombs, if you got, like, say, oil, shatter, and you want to do a dab, say, you can still do dabs. You don't need to go and spend hundreds of dollars on this dab gear. I just showed you how to make one real quick out of a popper bomb. I would be drinking my beer, but I need coffee right now. Um, pack a popper for you so you guys can see the popper. With the ab stick, we've got an ashtray there, resting up layers, resting up against the phone. The phone's resting up against the ashtray, I should say. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm quite high, but not high enough that I can't do this video for use. I figured, you know, figured, guys, we should just kick it, right? So this is my way of kicking it with you fans. Some of you is probably home smoking some weed, probably watch my videos. Probably wondering, well, why does he ever smoke some weed in his videos or whatever? At first, I didn't feel comfortable doing it, but it is legal now. It's 2019. It is, marijuana is legal. Pretty good. You can go buy fucking weed, know what you're buying, but when it comes to fucking cigarettes, like I said in my last video, hating against my government. You gotta go get one of these to get your fucking cigarettes now. So it's easier to get fucking high than it is to smoke cigarettes. I don't know why they're doing it, folks. I don't know why they're doing it, fans. I really don't. But they should fuck off. The government should start helping thing, do things to try to better this country, not... So much as try to, they're not screwing it up, well, they're screwing it up, but they're not screwing it up. Don't get me wrong, I'm with, I'm, I'm not with the government at all, like, fuck that, fuck, government go to hell. Because really, they haven't done really nothing to help out with anybody. So I packed a popper. Got popper pack. Kind of a dab on the popper because I got no weed. <laughs> got a bunch of oil. Got like six six grams of oil to burn up. So I'm pretty, I'm content. And you can still hit this for fucking poppers.
Or, like I said, you can use the bolt, the pliers, take the pliers, attach it to the bolt so it's even, heat up your bolt, put it on your stem like this, just hold it there, hold the bong up against your mouth with your knee, and just take a dab stick and do your dab. Nothing to her. I'm happy I've realized that. I'm happy I kind of did that because now everybody's going to be like, hey, I don't need to go and spend hundreds of dollars on dab gear. Dab, dab, damn dab gear. Dab gear is the most expensive gear there is for smoking weed. It really is. Oh, if you're wondering why I keep looking, I'm looking at my window right there. Kind of a half rainy day, kind of a half nice day, you know, I'm sitting in my garage. There's said an old deer horns dad and I got, got given to us. No, we didn't shoot it. Wish we did. Came from Alberta, though. Wish we would have shot it. Would have been a good hunting trip. Me and the old man used to take all kinds of hunting trips back in the day. We shot. We shot, I think it was an eight-point buck at one point. I still got the horns. Fuck, big old buck. Man, that was a beautiful deer. First deer we ever shot together. We've gone duck hunting together. We got a couple partridges, a couple pheasants. They're fun to hunt. Rabbits. I got four rabbits one time with them back when I was a kid. I was like five years old. Uh, first time using 22, I think I was. I think I was 10 years old the first time my old man's like, hey, you're old enough to use the uh, 22 now. I'll use the, the old 12-gauge Winchester. That's why I got a Winchester hat. My old man passed away three years ago. So I got a, his gun, favorite gun was a Winchester. So I wear a Winchester hat. Just about everything you see in here was my dad's at one point. It's been passed down. Wish the old man was still here. Kind of feels like he is, though. Nah, he did a lot of cool shit back then. We really did. Went hunting a few times. Got, got a few kills. First rabbit I ever shot. It was kind of funny. It's a true story. Mom could tell you the my mom could back me up. My sister could back me up. Anybody that knows me could back me up. But I got a hell of a aim, I guess, because I thought I missed. I should have missed. You'd think that would happen, I would have missed. How I managed to do this, I don't know. It was just like, I mean, it wasn't even really aiming. I can't even say I was really aiming. It just, 10 years old, you you not think you wouldn't think you'd be able to shoot it. My dad turned around one time. We were down back in the woods. Fucking. Like right down back of here. Right outside my window. We were right down back in them woods right there. And we were probably about a good mile. Oh, sorry about that, people. Sorry, fans. So, doing it again. I'm sorry, fans. Oh, I am. I'm really sorry for that. Didn't mean to mess up the video. Or anything. I really didn't want to mess it up. Doing my best not to. But anyway, down in the woods, Dad had his 12 gauge Winchester. I had 22. He ended, we ended up down there by this big old oak tree. I mean, it's a big, big fucking tree. It's humongous. I, I can't even put my arms around this tree. Dad and I, it took Dad and I both, and we still couldn't even put our arms around this tree. He's on one side of him, I'm on the other, we're trying to hug this tree. None of us could even touch. So, anyway, we were near there. Dad's like, hey. I was like, what? And he's like, Goody. I was like, yeah, Dad. He's like, there's a rabbit right there. Right underneath, right underneath that evergreen over there. Like, it was about 10 feet. Dad's like, I'm going to take, Dad's like, you want to take the first blast? Well, 10 years old. You kind of have that very first moment of your hesitation on your very first kill. Your very first kill, you always hesitate because you, your adrenaline's running. 
you get that gut feeling in your stomach that you're taking something's life. So I had all them feelings come about me. So I up, just before I up with the gun, Dad shot it. When he shot it, it it leaped about three, four feet in the air. Nowhere to lie. It came up like four feet in the air. He blistered in the stomach. And when it went up like that, it just went like straight up near like three, four feet. I pulled the trigger. I had my gun. I, as soon as I seen that thing come airborne, I pulled that trigger. I was like, bang! As soon as that, that's all I did. Honestly, honestly, fuck fans. Just went, bang! I was like, I think I missed that. He's like, I think you missed too. But I didn't. It went, it, when it came up, when it went boing, it started doing this 360 after I fired. It started doing going down in a 360. We went over. 10 years old, I'm like stoked that we killed this thing. I'm like, oh my god, my very first rabbit, I killed it. Like, holy shit. So, anyway, we get there. Sure enough, damn thing's already dead. It, I blistered, when dad blistered it in the stomach, I blistered it in the neck, which gave it that 360 spin. I actually hit that damn rabbit when it was in midair. I was 10 years old. First time ever firing my very first 22. After dad passed, I've kind of said fuck it one time and decided to go rabbit hunting. Just just try to get memory back of my old man, basically. I went rabbit hunting. You wouldn't believe the rabbits. I ended up bagging four rabbits with a buddy of mine. And it was, a fun it was just tremendous. It felt like my old man was there the whole time. But no, it was actually really cool. But you know how damn good you feel, like uh, how big you feel at like 10 years old and, and how mature you feel. So our fans just grab my stem, my, my, my stick. Uh, how good you, how, not, how good it feels to be treated as an adult at 10 years old, to be able to go out and do that kind of thing out in the country. It, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal feeling. It, it really is. Plus just being... I like hunting for the fact that wilderness, you, you, it's not the fact of going out, no, nah, I'm going to go out, oh, yeah, I'm going to shoot this, bang, I'm going to go out and shoot that, bang, I'm going to, oh, look at that squirrel over there, bang. If I go out in the woods hunting, I don't care if I kill anything, I don't even care if I see an animal, hell, there's times I go hunting and I hope the hell I don't see anything because I don't want to kill it. I just like being out in the woods, I love the backwoods, I love it in the woods. I love the scenery, the, the, the noises that the woods can give you, the, the, the sense of feeling the, that you can get in the woods. You, it, you can like totally on stress you, and that's why I like the woods so much. And it's just, yeah, basically shit that I grew up doing. There wasn't much to do where I grew up, honestly. Uh, I never had my many friends nearby, like, like there's nobody ever comes around, really. Just few, just the people I want to come around, come around, I guess. Uh, gotta go see a buddy of mine soon, I keep promising I'm gonna come see him, and haven't had the fuck, haven't had the time to do it, right, and it's, like, like, all you fans were like, hey, where's his videos? I miss his videos. And I'm sorry, fans. I was working the exhibition. And I'll tell you, things weren't easy. Things were not easy down there. But it was fun. I got a good experience out of it. I was working the ox bowls. Uh, I was loading 400 pounds and unloading 400 pounds of blocks. And then there was 200 pound blocks that I had to lift by hand. 400 pound blocks I had to lift by hand. Uh, you get a metal rod, you slide it in, you put the pins in, you go like that, the tractor picks it up. But when the that's but if there's one block that comes out of hand, you literally have to pick it up and move it. And that's like 400 pounds. It's 200 each side. And you got when it comes to the 200 blocks, you get a guy on each side, 
even when it comes to the 200 blocks, there's a guy on each side putting pins in on that side, you're putting pins on the other. Then you're picking pin, then you get a rod. If one screws up, you're both picking it up and rolling it and fixing it. That's the hardest job I've ever had. I think that was the best job I've had. I'll tell you, my arms hurt though. Got injured a couple times, took the skin off my finger there, as you can see, took, took all that off. Dinged my knuckle up, slashed all up through here, and I am quite dunged up. All right, that was fun. Looks like it's going to clear off. Hope it does. That was a big one. That was a good one, though. Yeah, it's tough I'm smoking cherry oil. <coughs> it tastes like cherries. <coughs> Potent. Yeah, potency, I'd say, from a scale to 1 to 10. I'd say potency is about an 8. Not bad stuff. Maybe we'll have a drink of beer, actually. Just to say hell. Cheers, fans. Well, that was something. I just threw my lid on the floor. I don't know that's saying, hey, you got to drink the whole thing? Where that's saying, hey, come get me. Might be saying, come drink the whole thing. There you go, doing it again, fans. I'm telling you, I got to get a better setup. I got to get a better setup for that camera so I can just... There you are. And then go, hi, fans. And go. Well, oh, it's clearing up. Who knows? Might be able to do that. Well, the woods might be a bit wet. Yeah, the woods are still a bit wet. I'm going to do a... <laughs> Any of you fans up getting high and hunting for ghosts, if you are, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Y'all have a good day. I think I'm done with the poppers for now. I think I might light my popper smoke up. Get this video. Get it. this video uploaded note to y'all. Hope y'all take care and have a good day. Hope you love life. Hope life goes good for you. Hope any of you is having rough times. Hope you get through it. Hope these videos enlighten your day. Because, man, sometimes life is hard and you just... It's kind of nice just to probably sit back and hear somebody else's voice kind of talk to you like a friend, you know. Your fans are awesome. Love of your fans. Take care. Peace.